Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. I had a few questions about these. You have um, like fonts that have these holes in them. Well, we know with our cutters, we really don't want them to go through and cut all of these holes. Well, with this, you can either take the brush and brush them all in, then do a path union, or I'll show you a really cool technique, okay? So we have this here. Let's come up here, and we're going to come here to Effects. We're going to do a shadow layer, okay? Let me move this out of the way for us. I don't want a big shadow layer because I want to try to keep it all the same. So I'm going to do a one, okay? I'm going to show you what it does, though, and then we're going to come back and fix it. And this takes a little bit to work. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll pause and come back when it works. Okay, so here it is. But let's take a look. There's still holes. So we don't want this. What we need to do is come here to Effects, Shadow Layer. Move this out of the way so you can see. Enter in the point. Zero, 01 but we're going to come here to blackout shadow and that's going to create another issue but I'm going to show you how to fix that okay click OK and we're going to wait another 10 years come on I'll come back when that comes up okay here we are all right so we have these holes fixed but look there's no holes here that is perfectly fine with this word right here highlighted come up here to object and click break apart Ah, oh, we lost all the holes. No, this is what we want. We want this to happen. So click on this guy. With the directional arrow up, bring it right up here. Okay, and that blue line pretty much tells you. Do you see it? Okay, right there, right in the center, coming out from that H over to the O. There it is. Okay, drop it. Now, you're going to highlight this entire thing path back minus the front that means you're keeping the back and you're going to subtract whatever is in front from it okay and again we're going to wait a little while because it takes a little while to to work today it's kind of on strike okay so we have that part float around here up oh, there's my moon so click on it highlight it the directional arrow up only right there okay so now we're gonna come up here and we'll go to object and we'll just do a merge okay that turns it all black okay come out of here we've reverted okay path union wait a little while for that to start working Come on, little guy, you can do it. Jeez. Okay, so there it is. So you can either get to it by path union or you can do an object merge. Okay, now let's come down here and deal with our A. Uh oh, where is that little piece at? Well, let's click out of there. Oh, there it is. So let's directional arrow it up. Oh, let's put it about right there. Okay. Now, watch what happens. We're going to come up here and do a back minus front, right? No. Watch what happens. That's what happens. Don't panic. Just come here and click the undo button. Even though I supposedly laid it on top, it actually tucked in behind there. So, if that happens, if that little dot happens, Come back to path, and instead of back minus front, do a front minus the back. So you're keeping the front, and you're subtracting whatever is laying in back there away from it. Okay? And wait another 10 years. Okay, it came back. All right, float. There's our other little piece. 
Let's take this little guy right back up here. Okay, put it about right there. That looks good. And we'll do, ooh, we'll do a path union. I'm going to actually do an object merge. And there we go. We have a full, no holes, word, letter now. Okay, so let's object merge this one because we broke that one apart. So in order to put it back together, you have to do the merge. Okay, and the holes, yep, the holes are still there. So we removed all of the holes. Okay, so that is how you go about removing the holes from any type of rough font. Okay, so... Hopefully this helped you um, with these holes in here um, to place them. You can kind of put them wherever you think they need to go, wherever it pleases your eye. Um, a lot of times they don't have to be exact. Like I could actually move this up a little bit more. But I tend to follow what those little lines tell me as well as my eye. Okay, so it, it really is up to you. Um, if you have any questions, though, you can come and find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. I am no longer able to come over to YouTube um, to help because we have grown immensely and gotten so busy over there. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.